This is a demonstration of the new capabilities around measurement and assembly mass properties in the June 2023 release of NX. So I had a request to control the decimal precision in the output reports from the mass properties tools. So to take a look at that, um, as we come to analysis, we can turn on our mass properties panels here. That'll show these mass properties panels in the assembly navigator and the part navigator. Uh, if we're looking at our top level assembly here, we've got a few hundred components here. And we have the ability to, of course, to export some reports. And, and as we do this, what we'll see is that we can choose the properties that we want to, uh, the specific properties that we want to export out there. We can choose where this is going to go, either to the information window or to Excel or to some other formats that we may use for downstream processes out there. I'm just going to use the information window here today. Uh, just just for brevity. <laughs> and um, uh, and as we do this, again, these properties are going to be written out um, to uh, either the information window or to a spreadsheet, right? Now, uh, these are going to be governed rather than make a new customer default or a new setting to control that decimal precision. What we're going to do is use an existing one. <laughs> And so in the user interface here, we have in the, in the dialog display and precision, there's a customer default for the, the number of decimal places that are visible in dialog in, inputs. Uh, and there's also uh, a customer default for the precision for uh, output numbers uh, that are usually shown in the information window, right? And also some other places, but uh, this is usually nine. And just for today, for this purpose, I've, I've put this down to six. Uh, of course, this is a customer default, so I've saved that and then restarted NX to, to get that to, uh, to kick in. But we'll see that six, that shorter display of those results here uh, as we go to export this report. All right, so we've got that top level assembly. We come to export our mass data here. And as we do that here to the information window, we'll see that uh, this will generate now uh, my other monitor <laughs> um, results here with with six decimal places right instead of the usual nine here so again this uh, this new setting uh, is really not a new setting I guess is the point uh, is that we're going to use piggyback on that existing customer default uh, out there for the output decimal precision right for the mass out mass input and again that's going to sit in oops I missed that's going to sit in uh, gateway and user interface, right? And that's in that dialog precision. So this guy right here will will take care of that. Okay, so that's the first one. Um, the next one here is uh, an interesting one. <laughs> we, uh, for many years now, users have been able to uh, to look at, uh, of course, lots of uh, the mass properties, of course, mass weight density kinds of things, but also a whole bunch of inertial properties, right, for uh, parts and assemblies out there, moments of inertia and products of inertia and things like that. Um, most of these have the option to have centroidal values out there and also to have values relative to the work coordinate system, right? Um, these WCS variants are particularly useful when we're examining the properties uh, of an assembly or, or a component from a frame of reference that's that's dictated by a specific usage scenario or in the context of uh, sometimes in the context of a larger owning assembly uh, out there. And, uh, and and these are really use, useful. And, and interestingly, we've gotten a lot of years, we've gone a lot of years with, with one of these not having had the WCS option, and that's the center of mass, <laughs> WCS. Uh, interestingly enough. So in this release, we have a new out-of-the-box property here that was added for this center of mass WCS. Okay. And again, this is measured with uh, the center of mass of the parts. We, we've normally done that with absolute uh, coordinates relative to the assembly, uh, the displayed part. And uh, we can do that relative to the WCS now as well. Um, this, uh, this of course brings mass center of mass in line with all the rest of the inertial properties. <laughs> and, uh, and this is available, not just here in the interactive, uh, in the interactive state here, but also as we go to do that same, um, mass report that we were doing a minute ago, uh, that center of mass WCS is available now in the, uh, the export here as well. Okay. So again, new property here that, uh, that is, is useful, uh, again, in the context of, of examining properties in the, in from, from the frame of reference of, of the work coordinate system.